you started your speech very vividly with so many emotions saying that you have a disease and I, I, I thought, oh my god, you're now you're promising to tell us a very personal story and I was waiting for it. So I would say that uh, somehow, maybe for me, it just was a bit misleading uh, according to what I heard then. I think that you might be, uh, it would be better to to build a connection with your beginning and the rest of the story because it was like, it seems that you were going to tell us a personal story about yourself but then it turned to be just about wine, the first thing. And the second one, the stage organization. When I saw, when I saw a lot of glasses of wine, I saw that it was a bit distracting. Maybe for me, <laughs> maybe it's something wrong with me, but I was expecting what was going to be next. Maybe uh, for the next time, I would just leave one glass of wine, with, which was a very beautiful, I think you were very charming here, with a beautiful glass of wine, telling us the instructions, giving us guidelines. And I think you could leave just one bottle of wine yourself and your audience building the whole image like a delicate tie between your topic, yourself and the audience and then at the end of your story just to to open your secret and say and now I would like to share with you this wine I, I've been talking about but nevertheless of speech organization was very good because you provided us five secrets of wine even people who don't drink wine I think it was very helpful and then you told us three main tips about wine and drinking wine and then what I loved it was you repeated them so people could remember for the next time and I liked also your style of your speaking because your speech was full of jokes with very delicate humor this was I liked and you were also very confident in, in your stage sometimes it seemed to me that you your phrases was a bit cut your pauses was a bit rich but maybe for the next time a bit of good wine could help 